Sheikh Muhammad, even in these difficult economic times, it should uh, energize us and let us know that we're on, on good footing and that all we need to do is to come together. I, I'd like to quote, uh, I heard the President Barack Obama on the radio make an appeal, a heartfelt appeal to the nation that if we work together, that there's no limit on the progress that we can make, right. what we can accomplish. And I'd like to say the same thing to you, that our biggest problem is our own selves, not being willing to work together and willing to come together and set our differences aside and come together as one community and take care of the needs of the community and for the future life of our community. So I've made many attempts to appeal to the leadership. My father, he also did the same with the leadership. He tried to make an appeal to the leadership of our community, uh, asking them to trust him, asking him them to view his record and uh, to follow his, his, his lead and trust in the community and, and working with him for the future of the, of the community. So I've, I've done the same thing. But I'm not, I'm not giving up. I don't think Imam Muhammad gave up, gave up on that. But we have these programs, and they've been successful. Imam Muhammad, contrary to belief, his programs were all successful. But we can all do much more. Uh, I made an analogy with uh, some of the Imams earlier today when uh, I, they mentioned my father passing and we losing his, his, the head of the leadership figure that he represented, and I made an analogy of when the, the sun sets, you know, and the sky is illuminated with the stars, and you no longer see that bright sun, that bright light, but now you see these smaller lights illuminating the sky mm -hmm. and affected in the same manner, and you still have the same order and structure as uh, Prophet Ibrahim when he observed the sky, and he studied the sky, and he saw order and structure and he prayed to God asking that God that we would have someday that type of order and, and structure in the governments of our lives on earth. And Imam Muhammad, he left many lights and many, many stars and many well capable uh, people that can handle the future, that can take the charge and the reins and, and, and uh, take the leadership of this community where it needs to go. And that's the majority of his followers have the ability. That's us, each one of us, you and I. Uh, I also mentioned that his name represents the leadership. Wadifu Din Muhammad means inheritor of the religion of Muhammad. Yes, and that's all of us. We're all, all of us that claim Islam as our religion and say that we're Muslims, we're all inheritors of the deen or religion of Muhammad. So it's all of our responsibility, and this is a day and time where I also heard Imam Muhammad mention that we're in the end of times where each tub has to sit on its own model. So it's a time for us to reflect leadership and uh, follow the best in your nature, because God is guiding you. God is closer to you than your own mortal self, your own mortal nature. And most of us that creep around, we're aware of the language of that. And now it's time for us to follow our best minds and take responsibility in our own hands for the planning of the future of our lives. And that's the only way we're going to uh, have the real progress. Because everyone that's, uh, that we see in leadership positions and in authority positions aren't always the best leaders and the best authorities. They are actually persons that we put ahead of us to serve the needs of our community. And when we see them not serving the needs of our community, then we have to take up the slack and put people in those places, in those positions that are willing or have the concern for the community uh, in order to get the, the work done that we need done. So uh, it's, a, it's a real serious concern of mine that uh, we go home, go home with the the burden on our minds and on our hearts of uh, imparting to the youth and the young people in the community 
their obligation and responsibility for the future life of our community. Because, uh, you know, we can't just stay complacent and stay in the same place and continue to have uh, big conventions and, uh, and put on programs and it's just entertainment. Because you can find better entertainment and, 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 uh, and more uh, interesting programs and things, but we need, it's time, we need now to take some action and to make an effort to improve our own lives, the lives of our communities and our neighbors and our fellow man. And I believe that's in the hearts of most of us. Uh, because we've, got, we've come a long way and we've come through a lot of opposition and a lot of struggles. So this, this group, this message isn't for, particularly for this group here. This message is a message that I hope that we take it home. That we take it home to our brothers and sisters that are present here and remind them of their obligation and their responsibility and their duty and to uh, show some honor for what they claim yes, and, and say that they are and yes. say that they represent and, and not just uh, once a week and most of most of us you know to be honest most of us don't attend the friday prayers i listen to the imams and a lot of the imams carry the same burden uh, how would you feel if you came home and you fixed a good meal every night and nice table spread and worked hard all day in the kitchen and you laid out the table and no, nobody sat down to eat. You know? So that's that's the position of many of our imams and many of our leaders. Right. So uh, we need to do whatever is in our power to help them and to change that, to improve the condition so that we can uh, increase and uplift the, the, the spirit of the imams and our leadership so that they can be better leaders, you know? Because uh, no matter how sincere and how hard our leadership struggle to improve our communities without support, uh, they can't go very far. So, uh, I don't mean to be sour, but this is an opportunity to, uh, to speak to the community. And I see you all as being the best of our community because you're the ones that's willing to put their, uh, their, their money, their pocketbook where their mouth is and to come out and support. So you all are the best. And this is also an occasion after uh, the, the Ramadan, the fast, the success of the Ramadan, we've been celebrating Eid. It's a great time for blessings and uh, for Allah's mercy and His blessings upon all of us that, uh, that uh, were successfully fasted Ramadan. So this is a time that you all, that we all should be congratulating ourselves and thanking each other and, and, uh, and our brothers and sisters that fasted with us. Yes. I'm just so overwhelmed at the beauty, and it's not the numbers, it's just the beauty of this community. It's uh, extremely special and it's extremely unique that Allah has uh, not done this for, uh, for, you know, for no cause to be lost. He's done this for a reason, and we have a great burden and a great responsibility, I believe, on our shoulders as Muslims. Uh, under the leadership that claim to be followers of the Imam Wahidi Muhammad, that we need to be doing more, asking ourselves, what are we doing to improve our communities and improve our neighborhoods, and to straighten up our own homes and our own houses? You know, they say the greatest jihad is with oneself. The greatest struggle is with oneself, and that's what I urge us to do: is to start there at home, and to ask ourselves honestly and sincerely, you know, am I is my thinking on the right course? Is my heart in the right place? And do our best to uh, do to, to make that change and to get us in the road of progress, further down the road of progress. And we have a White House representative here. I was telling myself a lot of times I'm a shy guy, so I said I don't want to succumb to my shyness <laughs> and climb up. Uh, Anything you know, hold on to this podium. It's going to help me stand for something. Like that. But uh, Paul Montero, representative from the White House, I've been telling myself over and over in my mind. I said, "What, what can I message? Can I send back to the president?" I said, "Little Wallace, well, maybe send us to you." Know, they call, my father had to stop them from calling me Little Wallace. You know, and uh, he said, "Start calling yourself Wallace too." You know, sign your name and this and So I just feel so humble and uh, so grateful and thankful to Allah that Allah has proven his word true 
that he blesses goodness, he blesses righteousness, 